At heart, the World Food Program is at the front line of all emergencies. Whether it's a disaster, whether it's a conflict, we're the last resort. In any given year, WFP helps over 100 million people across 80 countries. Because of our unique supply chain capabilities, we're the ones that are deployed and bring life-saving supplies and food to all the people in need. Where there's no infrastructure, there's no connectivity, reaching some of the most challenging places in the world. WFP is all about operations. Airplanes, trucks, emergency response, where we work together with them, expand their capacity to make better and more informed decisions. We are still operating in crisis mode, and then COVID hit on top of it all. Because of the pandemic, next year we expect to serve almost 140 million people. This is a massive increase to what we already had. Our funding needs to grow, and we only have secured about half of that. We have a saying internally that says that nothing stands between WFP and a hungry child. That's where we turn to the power of data. Like many other large public sector organizations, WFP's technology has grown over the years. We have people who are suffering where the fight between life and death comes to a very close decision. How do we make sure that the colleagues on the front line get access to better data at their fingertips? That's why we partner with Palantir, building a system that we call DOTS to help give us a better operational picture and really empower the entire organization from HQ, but also in the field, to have the right data point at the right time to make the right decision. It's putting the opportunity in the hands of those who deliver in the most remote corners of the world. This is where I need the food and when I need it. Just get it done. Today, DOTS is the cornerstone of the WFP data ecosystem. It allows WFP teams to cross-collaborate in the same platform together with each other across business functions. One of the first workflows we've developed in DOTS is called the Transporter Evaluation Score. Every day, WFP relies on a very large network of transporters, companies that show up with trucks, load up the commodity, rice or maize or beans, and bring it from point A to point B. Let's say that you're a logistics officer working out of Somalia and you have a shipment coming in tomorrow. You need to know exactly how this transporter has been performing in the past. Do they show up on time? Do they lose food? Do they deliver less than they said they would? Doing this before DOTS was a very, very complicated exercise. This is something that would take days to extract. Today, all of that information is integrated, and now it takes a couple of seconds, tops. This is an example of one of the type of insights we're able to get. With DOTS, WFP has this operational knowledge asset. And every time a field officer solves a problem in DOTS, that asset gets more and more refined. The impact of the partnership has been enormous. To me, what is really exciting is that people on the front line, serving the communities that have lost everything, can now spend most of their time in much more transformative activities. And that really is extremely inspiring for us. Doctors and ERs coast to coast, what do they have in stock? Thousands of frontline doctors are still not getting the equipment they need. Can the medical equipment supply chain be made to function? During the COVID-19 pandemic, the World Food Program was asked to support the wider humanitarian community under something known as the Global Humanitarian Response Plan. Under that plan, the wider humanitarian community collectively bought all their personal protective equipment face masks, to surgical masks, to gowns, to rubber gloves. Then ultimately WFP was to organize the transportation of those cargoes delivered to 172 countries across the world. Before DOTS came about, the initial stages of the operation were still very manual. If I was, say for example, requested to move transport, I would have had to raise a transport order, pre-notify, for instance, the Dubai hub to confirm that he'd be willing to accept that load for onward movement to South Sudan. It would require an interchange between us, sending one another an email, put in a phone call, shared Excel spreadsheets that might have gone back and forwards two, three, four times. And that person in Dubai would not know what to expect unless I kept him up to date. These would ultimately our Achilles heel. We realized that there was a space here for us to help. We built out a control tower module in DOTS that allowed people to see and track and update their shipments. 
We integrated airplane data, warehouse data, shipment data, and that became the lens that you were able to see at any point in time where your shipments were. WFP very rapidly organized and orchestrated one of the largest response the humanitarian sector has ever seen. Just in the first few months, we were able to deliver more than 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of health cargos in the most remote places in the world. This is at the time when airlines had grounded their flights. WFP and humanitarian flights were taking off. If a border was closed, if an airport was no longer available, if a price would go up, DOTS stepped up, and all of that data was being integrated and really helped orchestrate not only our own response, but also the response of a network of more than 70 organizations. I think in the humanitarian sector, you always feel like a small cog in a big machine, but this time it really felt that you were in the heart of the machine. You were in a place where you are a pivotal point in that supply chain, and a lot of responsibility rests on your shoulders. To even just get one single load out every single day could reach more beneficiaries and save more lives. I have many pictures in my office of people I met when I traveled, of children who were receiving assistance from the World Food Program. So every time we tend to lose sight of what we do, I stop to look at these pictures. These are the people we serve. They deserve nothing less than the best from us. And we have that unwavering commitment that drives us every day. So let's focus on how we deliver the best for them. Because of the power of DOTS, we are going to have an organization that is more intelligent, that is faster, that is more responsive to the needs of the community we serve. Every day, people are logging into the platform and able to help those in need better because of what we have done. I joined Palantir because of our mission-focused work. The partnership with WFP is a direct testament to what this looks like. At the end of the day, data integration, digital technologies are just a means to an end. And the end, for us, is that people who've lost everything have a lifeline to get back on their feet, that communities are rebuilt, that there is resilience, that we have a world where everybody can have access to health and education and become a thriving member of society.